Ron Paul arrived at the Union Street Church in Bangor this morning, his first stop on a two-day tour of Maine. Weather may have made travel messy, but that didn't stop Paul from campaigning in the Pine Tree State, while competitors Mitt Romney, Rick Santorum, and Newt Gingrich stayed in sunny Florida in anticipation of the Tuesday winner-take-all primary. But we uh, didn't come for the weather, that is true, and we didn't leave Florida for the weather. We came where the action is, in <laughs> The Texas representative's presentation addressed a number of issues, including his non-interventionist views on foreign policy and sweeping advocacy of personal liberty. We will not be going to war at any whim, and it will only be done for national security reasons with a full declaration of war where you declare it, you win it, and come home. We as individuals are entitled to our life and to our liberty, but we're not entitled to somebody else's life or liberty or their liberty. Before departing for his two other Friday visits in Waterville and Lewiston, Paul made time to shake hands and take pictures with many of his supporters, among them several area college students. He can relate with both the young crowd and the older crowd and he has good views and opinions. I support him because I'm all for small government, less taxes, protection of our freedoms, following the Constitution. I'm all for that. And though the Texas representative finished dead last in Florida polls, Paul says the nation is starting to listen. It said that uh, first they will ignore you, and then they will laugh at you, and then they will fight you. But, you know, I'm starting to suspect, even with the last night's debate, they're starting to respect what we're talking about. For the main campus in Bangor, I'm Kylie Keene.